my buddy Travis wanted me to uh, show him how I upgrade my CPU and my computer and uh, it's pretty simple first you unplug the fan and then you uh, disconnect the heatsink from the CPU you can see right here sometimes if it's been on there for a while the uh, heat sink will stick to the CPU and it'll tear it out of the socket and that's not ideal but there's not a lot you can do about that and that's what happens right here you just pull up and there it is and the CPU is still attached again that's not what you want to happen but that's what happened open up the uh, socket and then you get ready with your new CPU you notice there's little notches you just gotta line those up and you don't want to use any force here it'll it'll sit in just perfectly when it's aligned properly there we go seat it in the slot with the bracket and the hardest part is getting the CPU fan in it came with uh, thermal paste already on it so that's what I used uh, don't read into the hype most of the uh, thermal paste is created equal you can just sit it on there gently and then you uh, put the back bracket on it can take a little while to, to find the notch for it but once you find it it's not too bad then you put the front notch in the bracket can take a little you got to push down and don't be afraid to push hard you're not going to break it then there's a lever you got to push the lever all the way over so it's super tight and make sure it won't wiggle and that's all it is to it and just you just got to plug in the fan I'm going to end up uh, putting a water cooled uh, heat sink on this because uh, after plugging this in this this fan kind of whines and I don't like the sound of it but CPU upgrades very easy. Uh, Windows will just uh, read it from here. Uh, it'll, there's really no difference. It'll just your computer will just boot up and it'll just be faster. Uh, no drivers to load or anything like that. It's very simple.